Hi everyone and welcome to GTO Charts. Um, in this video I am going to be showing you some recent updates that we've made to our 6MAX uh, charts, our 6MAX cash C charts, and um, try to simplify them so everything's available all on one screen. And you may also notice that we have 100 big blinds and now we have 200 big blinds. So I don't know about you, but when I get deep and stacks, uh, we get to 200 big blinds and other people on the table have approximately the same amount, um, I get a little confused about what ranges I should be opening and from what positions. But uh, don't worry about that anymore because it'll be all here in the charts. But first up, um, let me just go through the 100 big blind charts, uh, similar to what you've probably seen before, um, except, as I said, everything's... Um, here on one page um, that you'd ever want. So um, obviously under the gun, the opening range is for under the gun with a mixed strategy and just mouse over and you will see um, what amount of percentage you should be opening for the from under the gun. So for example that says 16, Queen 8 suited, uh, our random number generator well, just went to 14. So um, depending on whether you decide to go with, um, you know, after the number change or before, you probably should have that in your mind before you start playing. Um, take another example, 10-9 um, suited, 62 and under, wouldn't open that either, as the random number generator is now at 43. Um, further simplification of this would be just not to even open these, um, these hands, I think, um, it would still be a fine strategy if you just only open hands um, that are fully coloured in red, uh, especially at tables um, that are very aggressive and you're getting a lot of three betting in front of you um, because, you know, not much fun. Open seven, six suited, get three bet from the button. Um, probably better off just to um, try and simplify, like I said. However, it's fine also to, to throw in a mixed strategy especially against tough opponents, uh, mixing it up. It's definitely a good idea. Okay, and then so on, you know, we have the middle position opening, cutoff opening, button opening, small blind opening. Uh, big blind, don't have an opening here. The simple fact, you don't open from the big blind. Uh, when we get 200 big blinds, we do have something there that I will explain. Uh, we have a limping um, a range if people are limp, but we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> So yeah, underneath, let's see, let's take an example. Um, we open Queen 10 suited under the gun and the button three bets us. Okay, what should we do? Um, okay, Queen 10 suited, obviously an easy open, button three bets, click on here. And you see again, a mixed strategy of what to do. But Queen 10 suited is a pretty much a fold most of the time unless your RNG was nine and under, you probably should flat. Again, if you want to just simplify your strategy, probably best to fold that all the time. Um, but again, depending on the table, uh, who's at it, um, and your strategy, um, then that would depend. But either way, it's good, but you know, this isn't exact science, but it's close to it and um, this chart's going to help you out a lot. Um, let's take another example um, where we open from middle position and let's open something strong this time. Ace King suited and the big blind three bets. Okay, what should we do? Let's have a look. Ace King suited. Um, if we four bet, if our random number generator is 44 and below, so in this case it's 13, so we'd four bet. And then um, what would happen then if we four bet and then the um, big blind shoves, let's have a look. Um, then we just obviously call with uh, the top of our range here, aces, ace, king, kings, and ace, king. Uh, the reason that's only 
uh, partially filled in is because of our 3-bet. If we go back to our 3-bet range um, and take, I don't know, Ace-King off as an example, um, we're only going to 4-bet at 49%, about half the time. And so then when we get to the point of, um, sorry, I had, that's King-King. Why is that King-King? That is wrong. I have to correct that. Uh, let's go with <coughs> Ace-King suited. And um, 4-bet 44 and below. And then if we look at it, if we get shoved on, that carries across to, we're only calling with that, which we're calling with everything. Everything we 4-bet, we will call. And the other bit is, we have not, we would have just called with that portion of the range. Hence, we're not getting shoved on. Okay. Um... And of, the other thing to take note of is um, when someone opens in front of you, for instance, um, we're in the cutoff and under the gun opens, what should we do? Now, these charts are three bet or fold strategy, which again, depending on the game you're playing um, and the strategy you want to use, um, I, I, personally, I find it a good way to play. Um, keep up the aggression. 3-bet or fold, um, for example, let's say we are under, under the gun opens and we're in the cutoff and we have pocket queens, obviously that's easy, 3-bet, all these are easy 3-bets, sometimes we're going to 3-bet, king, queen off, most of the time ace, queen off, and then we mix in some of these, just to keep uh, a, a bluff range, uh, ace, 4 seems to be open, most of the time. Again, if you want to just simplify it, possibly you could just get rid of, don't worry about maybe the eights, the sevens, the sixes, and these down here, um, just to keep your range stronger. Depending on the game you're playing in. And then the rest of it is hopefully stuff most of you have seen before. Um, all betting ranges. And it's all here. I mean, if you open on the button, pretty much stay in this area depending on what happens if the button big blind three bets you click here there's your ranges um, note that these when you mouse over have the exact numbers um, when we get to 200 big blinds they don't so you're gonna have to do a bit of just estimating um, the thing to note that is really different is the big blind where we used to have a separate tab for the big blind not so much, not, not anymore. Um, so again, you're in the big blind, um, under the gun opens, what to do. Just click on here and um, should be flatting with a lot of hands and obviously three betting your, your strong premium hands, queens all the time, jacks some of the time. Um, I mean, again, like if you mouse over, it's that it doesn't give you exactly what uh, the percentage is, but um, I mean you can have a pretty good guess there. I'm going for 75 and 25, I would say. Um, and then obviously fold all your trashy stuff. Um, you know, again keeping it mixed and mixed strategy is a good idea. Um, and then that's about it for. Um, for the uh, 100 big blind stack and um, let's have a look you know so on and so forth S small blind four bets so if the small blind opens let's have a look at this we're in the big blind small blind opens this is this suggested strategy here you have these ranges have to be estimated um, you're gonna let's say you have ace queen suit ace king suited obviously you're gonna uh, three bet that and then what happens if we get four bet um, by the small blind, ace king suited is just shoving over the top uh, most of the time, 87 and below and calling 88 and above. Okay, now these charts again are great, um, but you can only use them on certain sites. Um, please read the terms and conditions of the sites to see if you're allowed to use them but a lot of sites allow them.
and they're a great leg up. It's uh, pretty much pre-flop sol solved once you use these charts. I um, hope to be adding some squeezing ranges too shortly. All right, so that's 100 big blind deep. Let's say you get in the cash game and now you're 200 big blinds deep. Um, that's a spot I used to struggle with a little bit. Probably still do. And um, fear not, we have the opening ranges um, for all the positions. And in a minute, we'll, just, we'll have a look at the difference between uh, the opening ranges for the 200 and the 100. But for the moment, uh, the only other thing, they're all pretty similar to the 100. Um, if you get 3-bet, um, one other difference is there's going to be some 5-betting uh, because you're deeper. So if you're in the cutoff and the button 3-bets, that's your... Um, four bet range and then uh what happens if you get five bet so let's go with mm, aces and if the button then five bet you we should pretty much shove most of the time well let's say about 70 percent of the time okay and the other thing to note is um we just have a limping range here um for 200 big blinds if you're um opponent limps so when you get deep a lot of people want to limp um so you're in the so this is just for the if the small blind limps obviously um this is a strategy to uh, combat that uh the ranges are there um and then again if under the gun opens um what you should do so let's compare uh the 200 with the 100 um just one of the ranges just to see if we can work out what's going on okay so hopefully you can see that up the top is um 100 big blinds and down the bottom is 200 big blinds all the opening ranges um let's take under the gun as an example and see what we can see it's different it seems like um at 200 you're getting rid of you know opening these king six suited king five suited and queen eight suited they totally disappear um ace nine off disappears um but your king ten off oh sorry that's sh king ten off is um not opened up as much um but you seem to be widening a little on these um smaller pocket pairs Vibes, we're only opening up here not 39% of the time down here. Opening up, that is wrong, obviously. Again, I'll have to have a look at that. Um, so, and if we go up to, say, the button, um, we are noticing, again, a widening of um, the ranges where we're adding, like, 5-3 suited uh, on the button opening at 200 big blinds and um, I guess the reason for that is uh, you have more stack depth hence more chance to call three bets I guess um, and flop some you know monsters if you're in position with 5-3 suited and you get three bet and whether that's a call or not that's a whole nother story let's have a look uh, big blind three bets you're on the button Okay, that's small, but um, five three suited to fold. To calling uh, five four suited all the time, and with a bit of four betting of that thrown in as well. So yeah, I guess that is probably the one of the things to take away from that that your your ranges start widening up a little bit. Okay, let's have a look at three betting. How that changes. Uh, let's pick. Again, let's stick with the button. Um, I think I have to make this screen a little bit bigger. Bear with me. Oh, it's disappeared. Big blind three bets. And here, big blind three bets. Let's make it even bigger. That's, um, that's better. Like using five, four suited again as the example. And so 100 big blinds deep. 
we don't open five four suit as much uh, and if we get three bet it's just an easy fold however when we are deep 200 big blinds we're opening five four suited 100% of the time and we are not folding at all we are uh, I'd say about 10% four bet and about um, yeah obviously the other 90% calling so that's very important to understand that as the stacks get deeper your Stra overall strategy changes um, and obviously your pre-flop strategy should change and should adjust accordingly okay uh, so that's it for this uh, video and um, hope you enjoyed it and um, if you don't understand something just drop an email um, to us asking a question also don't forget about our sponsor GTO Wizard if you really want to take your game up to another level, there's a link in the uh, in the description where you get a ten percent discount. And um, okay, talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.